Hey, how's everyone doing? Today, I'm uh, going to be doing some more magazine typing um, out of this Compute Gazette uh, from 1986. Going to be typing in um, the piece of software that will let us type in all of the machine language software. So we're going to be typing in MLX, Machine Language Editor for the Commodore 64. Um, this will allow us to type in all of the um, machine language bits in there, uh, one byte at a time. Uh, it's pretty long. Uh, it's about a little over a page of typing to do. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, let's go ahead and get that way down. First thing we gotta do is load the automatic proofreader so we can get those um, uh, we get those checksums, which are going to be really important for working with this. So, load proof 5, comma 8. We're going to run it. Alright. So we can go ahead and start filling this in. Here we go, all the hex characters. HBCJ. Curlies. She can't type on this keyboard. What the? Type that. Type that. Uh, do the device settings. See what's going on. Cursor to the left. Okay. So that is a special control character. That's interesting. Okay, that's weird, but I guess it's correct. All right. Space 
from the space. Oh. Oh, because it's the bad um, formatting layout. They want to make sure you type in a space, which they didn't do in the other program. Should be CQ. All right. We're moving a lot of right along. Clear. Shift clear home. So, shift home. There we go. At FC. All right. Whoa. Wow, okay. Red. Control three. Reverse. Yeah, you know hang on, we're gonna do a thing. So OBS changes on the fly. No, oh, it's gonna be that whole time. Oops. down the Commodore key, hit the indicated character. So, Commodore 8, nope. Commodore 8, nope. Commodore 8. How the heck do you hold down the Commodore key? symbol, two spaces, space, 28, off, troll zero, blue, Control seven MLX two Oop, whoa MLX two So it looks like the Commodore key is tab and the control key is control, so let's remember that. If this actually becomes EJ, I'll be really surprised. Nope. All right. Oh, uh, well, it is this color now. Um,
of blue rule seven. Spaces PC twenty eight and blue control seven quote SP I have no idea what that means. Oh my goodness, I got it. Okay. That was not fun. One seventy. Print three down. Three spaces. Hey Nakamus, um, I am struggling real hard trying to type in all these weird control characters over here. Um, this is a lot more challenging than the other time. Uh, how's my audio, by the way? Awesome. Glad to hear it. How are you doing today? Oh, um... Hang on, I had a thing. There's a uh, special characters. You have to like do a whole bunch of control codes. Um, so they look like this. So you have to hold down particular keys and get them to um, just basically like type this stuff in but there's this additional language on top of it where it's like you have to repeat some of the characters and you have to verify the symbols and so I've got a vice key map up next to me um, and I'm trying to keep that handy so that I know I'm typing the right keys it's a heck of a learning curve but it's it I guess it's the only way that they could you know, it really is the only way that they could get the stuff into the magazine with all these control codes because they can't like put reverse pi or reverse pound symbol. You know, it just doesn't, you can't do that. So these weird control symbols in order to type all this stuff in. So this one's going a lot slower than than the other one because the other one was really simple. Probably because you didn't have the um, validation tool, the, um, the checksum tool with the automatic proofreader to do it. 
um, black control one. I also accidentally made uh, all the text on here black and I'm not sure how to put it back to the normal color. So we're just kind of rolling with it. Uh, how are you doing? This is Commodore 4. Is it Leo season? Um, I had no idea. Um, do you, um, do you, are you supposed to get like superpowers during this season if it's your like sign? Cause I didn't get any during mine. Okay, that was a valid line of code. I don't know how, but sure. Yeah, that would be awesome. I'd love to see you uh, dig into that. I'm sure there are a lot of folks who... Um, oh, I'm, I'm dropping frames like crazy. Uh, hang on, let me turn off. Let me get rid of the special characters thing. Yes, I should not be dropping frames. I think it's just. Let me see if I can close other apps on the computer. I may have too much stuff open. I need to upgrade this machine. I think I'm going to put a new uh, CPU and motherboard into it. two lines all right hundred put and black I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to do this this is this might be the kind of thing where I need to like do a little bit now and then pick up the rest next week because this is really tedious it looks like now I'm writing a book it's writing a bunch of initialization code so trying to determine the start and end addresses for the program. So with machine language software, um, you specify the points in memory into which you want to load it. Um, so like for an NES game, you would specify that the code of the game loads into the ROM areas. Um, and like you do the same thing with obviously a C64 because it's the same kind of processor. Yeah, um, I, I don't know what's going to be worse, typing on all of these control codes or just typing in hexadecimal characters for like hours like i really don't know um i really don't know which which is going to be worse and we're gonna find out together i i don't mind punishing myself for this project and 220 that should be Yes, nope, that's supposed to be KR. All right. Down, down, down. Black. Not equal Y. And 220. Oh. Wow, yep, that's that's not right. Why then two twenty KR that's correct. Yep, KR is the right right one. Okay, good. Two ten. Print two down, 
blue. I have all these codes. I bet I had all of these control codes memorized when I was a kid and just forgot them all by the time I like, you know, by the time like school started to get serious when it wasn't just like, you know, playing with blocks or whatever. But I had this useless knowledge in my brain back in the day. PG. Not the R. Black. Reverse. I'm starting to memorize these codes. This is not good. It's going to push out some useful information. So what it's doing right now, this is all of the menu that's going to get displayed in the, when you start up this thing to figure out how to um, load data and um, get it set up for typing in one of these programs out of the magazine. Like once you have this and you can actually write machine language, I would love to like distribute like distribute an NES cartridge this way and this is how you have to type it in, but you have to type it in on an NES console. Like not all this, but the actual machine language stuff. Um, and then like save it to the cartridge data and use it that way. Um, that would be ridiculously difficult if you had to do that with like an NES controller. I should disassemble and see how large that one uh, NES ROM that I wrote, the really simple one is, and see how large it would be when blown up into one of these magazine programs. So it should be HK, good. Here, we're moving along, no more control characters. 270, next. Uh, play any good games this week? Oh, that's awesome. What kind of adventures are they by sorcery? I'm guessing some sort of like fantasy setting. Sorry about the car going by. Oh, that's why I screwed it up, okay. DJ, cool. 
Nice. That's the way you do it. I have been playing a lot of Stardew Valley, um, trying to, I only play it for like a half an hour at night, trying to get a farm into summertime um, and do some stuff with summer plants. I would like to get to the point where I actually finished two years. Um, I've wanted to try to get at least two years into that game, and for, I get distracted every single time. Um, I'm hoping if I just play a little bit in the evenings after work, um, and not really go too wild into it, then I'll be able to actually consistently get to that point. But if I don't, I'm still having a good time, so you know, it's fine. You know what, we are gonna save. That's what I missed. This proofreader, wow, it's making a real difference. I do vaguely remember back in the Commodore 64, Commodore 128 days, pretty sure that my dad did have Zork um, and like a couple of other like text adventure games and like if they're the ones that were just, you had no idea what to do when you're like five, um, how to interact with them and you're just typing in words and it's just like the learning curve on those games is so high. I never... I never really stuck around and played them a lot. Um, the point and click ones were a little bit more my speed, but um, like the pure text adventure ones were real tough for me. That, that's a good way.
It's building some sort of thing. Oh, yep. Not sure exactly what this code is doing, but maybe I'll figure it out by the time I get through all this. Easy one. Reverse is control nine. Here, moving right along, I might be able to get this finished in time to watch the A team, which is what you'd be doing in the 80s, at least I would. Watch all the all the violence that actually claims not a single life. It's good to grow up with that. some like go-to shortcut thing in basic that I just yeah that's gotta be what it is The, the fact that everything is lowercase and shift does, or everything is uppercase and shift does something weird, um, like it's you and the more control characters keeps throwing me off. out of some sort of loop. Max, hey, we're almost at the end of this page. Oh, we are at the end of the page.
Oh no, does it actually go? Are you kidding me? Save. Something with file handles here. Yeah. I was doing some sort of checksums there. At least telling you you screwed up. I wonder how many times they had folks like try to type these in to make sure that they worked before the magazines went to print and how long that actually took to do the review process.
curse. Moving right along. About halfway done this column. Guess I... That's EQ. What? Okay, look up whatever that command is. I don't know what on F go to does. Space. Open fifteen eight fifteen I zero come rolling B E A minus S A Wow N F O P N eight ten H H This is saving stuff to I guess the tape drive? I was saving it to disk. This is doing something with byte data. Fifteen. Go to nine forty. Nine forty. Let's see. 
800 uh, Ghost of 1060 print um, black error during save colon four. Two fifty six times AS B dollars plus C dollars if A D does that equal this A and F equals one go to eight fifty. And G E was what we were supposed to get, so let's go ahead and save this. In case it gets screwed up. All right, let's finish this. We can do it. Well, I can do it and you can watch. Well, it's just more fun than watching someone type in 30 year old, almost 30 year old computer programs. Oh, nine, 10, 11, no, over 30 year old, almost 40 year old computer programs. RH, that's right and right. Oh, I keep screwing that up. Did it. Yeah, this must be some way of doing branching go subs uh, go and go to's. Um, based upon whatever that value of on is like if it's a zero it goes to 960 and if it's one it goes to 970 like I said I'll have to look that up see how that works it's an interesting way of doing a switch statement um, back in the day without having to like do all the overhead of writing a switch case I gotta find this like monster trivia game um, that uh, my family was playing one time that really scared me. Like, if you lost too many questions, if you screwed too many up, um, like the monster would come out and like take you to a cave and eat you. Um, I remember not liking that when I was younger. I'll have to see if I can find that game. What was interesting about it was it came on tape. Um, and so when you wanted, when you had, when you had to go to the next question, it would pick a random spot on the tape that you had to rewind or fast forward the tape to. And that's the question it would ask you. I should do a video about that too. Hang on, let me write that down.
Okay, plus three, poke, 188, peak, fa, plus four. If op equals zero, then 920, ej. Seven. GR. Almost done. Truncated at ending address. So I'm actually reading an interesting book right now about like the early history of Commodore computers. Um, called Commodore Company on the Edge, I think it is. Um, I'll probably put it up on the website as a link eventually. Um, but like they go real deep, like the author goes real deep and there's a lot of interviews. A com Commodore, a company on the edge. Um, a lot of like details about like the early business developments around like 
um, how the chipset came about, like, you know, how Commodore wasn't initially going into trying to build a computer, um, but they eventually did, and like, and kind of like the one that I'm emulating right now. Um, pretty fascinating book. I've been reading it very slowly because I read slowly, um, but it's been nice. It's been interesting to learn a lot about the history of a company that really influenced a lot of my early life considering that we were a Commodore household for a very long time. RX. Uh, one interesting thing I was doing today, um, I've been, I just finished a book on the, the basically the Sega Genesis era of Sega called Console Wars, and one of the things they went into detail with was the Sega Welcome to the Next Level commercials, and you should look these up on YouTube. They are. They they are so early '90s. It's not even funny. Maybe I'll play one when I'm done with this. Um, it is amazing, um, and like I said, there's nothing more '90s that I, that I've seen today. Um, it's also the commercial where um, you get like the Sega yell. Um, you'll see it. Like, if this Twitch streaming of this stuff ever becomes a thing, I, I just imagine where I'll try to go for as long a streak as possible, and then, like, if I don't make it, like, have to donate money or something, you know, maybe as a fundraiser, because that would be a very challenging one. Plus one, four. Try to type as many of these lines correctly on the first go as possible. Hey, nope, that's AM. I need AR. 1060 poke SD plus five. Oh, yep, I keep screwing up those plus signs. I do not know what is going on with those. If it's just my keyboard or I'm fat fingering something or what? There we go. Did it. Uh, I guess it's just a delay routine. It's a sleep. In earlier versions of Commodore Basic, you weren't able to just say, hey, can you wait for like a second or like five seconds and do nothing? You had to put the computer into these infinite loops like that. Not infinite, but... Um, uh, today I am writing up the 
hex editor for typing in um, for typing in the machine language programs, uh, which I will show you in a minute. I'm almost done typing this up, um, but this writing this up will allow me to uh, type in some of the ones that aren't basic; they're just bytes of data. And hi, DB Blair. Welcome. PF. Oh, yep, this is the last line. Hey, you, you made it just in time, DP Blair. Um, Nakamas has had to sit through all of this. Um, just total torture, watching me screw up typing. Nah, it's fine. We're all having a good time here. I hope. And AC, okay. Save, MLX. Let me double check that MLX4 is available. I'm gonna cheat and look at the disk image. MLX4 is available, all right. Save that to the floppy disk. But yeah, uh, the program I am typing in is MLX which is the one I, I, I remember using more as a kid just because I would like help um, my dad type this stuff in. So I'm gonna do new, I'm gonna load it from disk, make sure it works. This is dangerous, but I'm, I'm feeling lucky. And run. Hey, this looks promising. Um, is there a short machine language program in here? Just a quick little one to test out. Well, let's, just try, let's type in a few lines and see what happens. So we'll try quick key. See if this works. So starting address C000. It beeped at me. I turn on my desktop audio so you can hear these wonderful beeps. I bet that's what those Commodore commands were. Um, and the ending address is C2B0. Oop. C2B0. Did you hear that beep? Yes, excellent. So we're gonna clear the workspace. Wipe the memory. Oh, wow. All right, well, let's enter data. Starting at C000. Okay, so I'm not gonna do all of this right now. Um, just wanna make sure that it, the checksums and everything like work. So 78AD0403C9. Zero, zero, B, C, F, zero, one, F, one, C. Hey, it worked, great. Yeah, that, that last one the ch is the, the last value is a checksum value for these. Excellent, this, is, this, this works fantastic. Um,